superstar. Hi. Congratulations. Thanks. How does it feel to know that your baby is premiering tonight in LA? Uh, it's been like a long time in, let's say, in pregnancy. So yeah, it's well overdue and uh, really, really grateful to be here. So obviously it's based on a true story. What made you decide that you wanted to tell this story? It was the nature of the really deep, passionate love story that is massively about overcoming a totalitarian system and basically flying in the face of love. Right. And I think what um, was so poignant is that obviously in 2013, Russia changed their laws again. So even if this scenario was to play out in today's society, the same thing would kind of happen. Totally. Yeah, it's, it's astonishing to see that there are so many similar bills actually coming out around the world now and what's happening in Florida and what's happening in Hungary. If this goes unchecked, it's not looking good. So I hope that actually with this film and the message that we have in the film and showing love in such a way that we'll be able to open some hearts and some minds. I think so, because you know, I'm as a gay man myself, I kind of thought once gay marriage was legalised, oh, we're fine now. We don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case, and it can be taken away just as quickly as, as we got it. Totally. So what was your favourite part about filming the, the movie? Because obviously you, you know, worked on it behind the scenes, but you also starred in it. How, how did that come about? Well, I was actually here in Los Angeles, um, and a film producer introduced me to Peter, uh, actually in London, and she said, I think you'd be really good to play the lead in this film. Oh, wow. Peter had written the first draft at that point, and it was then called Ramon. Mm -hmm. And then when we finally got down to meeting, and I was like, wow, like, this is such a fascinating story, we decided to shoot two scenes, uh, two sort of industry standard as a proof of concept. And it was really from then that I had the audacity to go, do you mind if we make a few tweaks to the, to the dialogues? And then from that point onwards, we became co-writers. We wrote together for two and a half years. And really, that was a springboard into rewriting, restructuring, redrafting the whole script. And then that took me to Moscow to meet the real Sergei. And yeah, we, we did a pretty significant revamp of the whole thing. And how was that meeting the real Sergei? Extraordinary. Like, in terms of how it informed my performance, how we decided to present him to the world, and really his main advice, which was saying, please make this film about love and not about politics. And Sergei, obviously, um, you know, time has passed. Was he able to find love again in his own life, or, or how did that pan out for him? He said that he never found a love like that again. And... He was, he was sad that actually that was not the case. Um, but somehow the relationship never seemed to, have seemed to go away. He kind of carried Roman with him forever after that. And I think that's you know so fitting for people to even watch because people think that, oh, I'll fall in love with someone else. But sometimes you only have one great love your entire life. And, and if you don't harness that opportunity, I mean, you can miss out on ever finding something like that ever again. Totally. So I think it really the message for me in the film is to go after love, no matter if it makes you, you know, it makes you uncomfortable or, or you know, it's outside your comfort zone. If it feels true, then go for it. Awesome. And then just for the last question, what is it that you hope when the average everyday person sits down and watches this film, what is it you hope that they take away uh, from this film when they watch it? That they see love, a very pure love between two people at the end of the day and that it has a way of kind of alchemizing all of this really curious uprising, you know, of, of intolerance again. I really trust and hope that people will see it as a true expression of love. Well, thank you so much. I mean, I cried my eyes out last night watching it. I'm sure I'll cry my eyes out again tonight uh, watching it in the theatre. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's brilliant. Cool. Really brilliant. Well, you're about to like have a whole other experience. On the I big know screen. to see it on the big screen. I'm yeah. sure it'll. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you getting to see it? I think I am going to. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah. Because I think on the big screen, it's going to be like a completely different experience. So yeah. I'm sure if I cry on my laptop, I'll cry when I uh, I see it on the big screen. So yeah, the yeah. sound and the projection in this in this cinema, I remember, is just being because we were here last year and it was just like, yeah. Wow. Wow. Because when did you film it? 2018. Oh wow. So yeah. it's been a couple of, yeah, it's been a while, yeah. Yeah, 2018 through to a little bit in 2019 when it was supposed to snow and it didn't. 